Hi y'all. Get me a last talk about the three biggest mistakes I made as a young business owner. It's the getting ya get news. The third mistake I made as a young business owner was walking before crawling. <laughs> Uh, when I decided I wanted to start a cleaning business, I decided that I would never work for another person again and I would not take a job. What was the outcome? I struggled with funding for my business. The resolution? I had to go back to work. The second biggest mistake I made as a young business owner was messing up the church money. Once my business began to build momentum, I began taking payment in all forms. I take everything. You can sell it, sell it. But the outcome of that methodology was I was unable to qualify for a business loan. I couldn't qualify for a business loan. Most loan officers want to see that all your money is going to the same place so they can calculate how much you're, you can afford to pay back. If you're taking money through Cash App, Child, Zelle, Venmo, everywhere, and you're not making sure it all gets to the same place, then you won't be able to prove to a bank that your business is actually making enough. The resolution to this problem was to promptly begin taking all of my money through Square. I also had to turn around and connect my business account to my Cash App, to my Venmo, and to my Square account so that it was easier to take the money I was making and put it in the business account. After making sure that all my clients' payments went into my Square and then to my business account before I started spending, I was able to raise the amount I was making on a monthly basis in Square and qualify for a small business loan through Square. The number one mistake I made as a young business owner was failing to address offenses. What did that look like? taking less than my prices, allowing new clients to come in and talk me down to a rate so low that it didn't seem to make sense. And what was the outcome? Resentment built up in me toward my client. When I would take less than I was worth or allow somebody to talk me down and then still complete the job for you know the price that they gave, and do the same work that I did for clients who were paying full price, I would begin to dislike those clients. Now don't get me wrong, I should have been mad at myself. I allowed them to talk me down below my price. I ended up becoming resentful towards the clients and when I would do the jobs for them and clean their house, I would find myself in negative energy spaces during the cleaning and after. What was the resolution? Sending a discontinuation of services notice. Sometimes in business, it is a hard thing, but necessary for a business owner to send their clients a discontinuation of services letter. This can be a physical letter or an email that lets the client know you will no longer be completing services for them and why? Please don't be rude. You know, irreconcilable differences or something, child, but you gotta divorce those clients so that you can only work with the clients who value your work. And these were the three biggest mistakes I made as a young business owner. I hope you can take a cue from me, heed my warnings and advice so you don't make the same mistakes. And I had love you very much. Now, until next time, Mind your business. Yeah, yeah, let's talk. <laughs>